Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Let us see how to apply for AICT internship program. So government has already launched the website for AICT internship, but recently they have enabled it and you can search for your uh, internship according to city or according to the technology. Uh, this is the home page what you are seeing now. Uh, you can also see, uh, for example, see here I have searched for a software engineer PHP uh, scripting job and you can see here it's kind of an internship Mumbai and how much you get almost the salary and what is the period of internship uh, six months so all the details are shown in the website I'll just uh, take you step by step where I'll show you how to register for this program as a student it can be a graduate undergraduate or even after the graduation post graduation all these are possible I'll just show you step by step how to register and search for the internship available online so friends what you have to do is just open a Google Chrome page Google search page on any of your device and search for intern internship AICT. So you can see here internship AICT hyphen India dot org is the website. Okay, this should be the first search AICT internship AICT internships. Just click on the link. You can see here the page is loaded and uh, clearly there is option of register and login here and i'll just show you what and all you can do here with this web page if you scroll down a little bit you can see here you can immediately search for an uh, internship program you can see find an internship under this you are going to find your search for your internship program and if you are a uh, if you are an employer you can find a candidate also you can find a candidate and give his name and location and you can see some particular candidate is available for internship in your company or organization and this is applicable for government organization as well as private organization and full-time part-time all the options are available okay so now example I'm just showing you I'm uh, searching for an in internship I'm just entering key as PHP that is a technology scripting language uh, you can see here PHP Python when I just search quickly there is nothing else needed directly it is showing uh, PHP development internship programs for example the first time it comes as PHP development at Gurgaon and uh, Gurgaon India and you can apply here for internship here okay just remember in mind some things might be expired or uh, the vacancy is fill, uh, filled up it's possible I'll just show you for example the second one is at the location Mumbai and there is also an apply internship option uh, if you click here uh, it will take it so as of now two searches are met for PHP so when I click there and you can see here I just tried for the PHP of Mumbai one and the details are there but as you can see here application are closed for this internship so maybe uh, it is raised some time back and people have already applied for it and you can see here that it was a software engineer PHP job for Mumbai and this is the expected salary obviously it will be less because it's an internship and how many months six months all the details your internship details and what will be your responsibilities during this uh, internship period will be clearly given here what are the skills required so everything is clear and who can apply everything is clearly given here so this way you can try for your area or uh, technology and you can see whether it's available if available you can happily apply for it and wait for the approval so before that you had to register to this website using your candidate ID kind of you are a student give all the details this is a must because without uh, without registration it's not going to proceed your application so let us click on the register button and see how to apply for this website so when you uh, click on the register there are three options see government is targeting one crore internships by 2025 very good news so let us uh, click on the register button now once you scroll down you can see here there are three options one is smart city so any ULB or smart, uh, smart city uh, category can apply here it is like kind of a giving job uh, to someone and now you can see this is the uh, part most of the time we are looking for as a student so if you are a student you register here and if you are an employer either public sector unit or private you wanted to in give internship to anyone just register here so you are an employer you are kind of a company and giving a job so I'm just showing you uh, here the student option because most of the time we'll be looking as an internship as a student so click on the student option you can see here 
uh, we are going to register and while registering you have two options whether your college is AICT uh, affiliated or non, -AIC, uh, non AICT don't worry if it's not affiliated also you can apply using this option if you are not uh, your college or the uh, place you study it, uh, does not fall under non -IC, uh, AICT please select this and type your university or college or institution enter your, uh, your college institution name here and just imagine if you are an ICT affiliated organization just click here and this is the option you are going to uh, enter for if you are studied in an ICT affiliated organization but here if you tick you can see here you don't need to type it in as soon as for example if I type Indian and there is a scroll down so all the AICT approved colleges by default comes here everything so you can just select from your drop down menu you cannot type it in any new name there it's already there you type the first uh, first letters of your college or organization it just comes over there but if I take another example say I am just trying some Christ College or Christ Academy you can see here when I type Christ all the options uh, everywhere uh, across India, Coimbatore, uh, Dindigal, everywhere, wherever, Pune, Ghaziabad, for example, I, I, I can select any of this if I uh, fall into this category. Okay, for example, I selected the uh, deemed University of Christ Bangalore, then that has come up. Now, the second part is your student enrollment number. All the parts shown in red is must and should, you should not skip these things. So student ID is must and should as per your enrollment ID uh, when you complete the final exams. Now your first name is a must and state you can see here state and city is a must when you select state all the states in India come up you select wherever the, you, your uh, institution was there wherever you studied okay this is not your permanent address or something but the study uh, uh, institution where you have studied and uh, your contact number email ID all these things are must you can see here through that only the application uh, you can process or request or uh, approval comes through your mail id and stuff so give your password and some security question you can answer it and once all these are filled up just click on i am not a robot and click on the register button so once you click on the register after filling the job uh, all the, the details you can see here good job and you have registered successfully uh, and you click on ok button now again this by default student login comes up page otherwise if it goes to home page just go on login as student and give your in email and password and click on login yeah it says not verified why because i had given my uh, pass uh, sorry email id and mobile number and i got an email and i had to verify my email id so this is the email you get like activation link for a ict internship okay so just a mail you got just click on this link uh, blue button uh, blue uh, script blue uh, whatever you are uh, you are seeing just click on there you can see here your account has been uh, activated please log in so when you click on the mail uh, link the, on the mail you got it is done now it is activated click on login again and scroll down and see uh, when you uh, click on login again you have got three options we have seen in the beginning okay now i have already registered as a student so i have to select the student option click on login button again uh, do the same procedure give your email id and password and click on login button this time it should log in because i have already clicked on the link i received in the mail and i have successfully registered so now by default your personal details come up please choose the file and upload your photo when you choose the file you have two options either you can upload from camera or you can upload from the document which is there as a pdf or image file in your pc or mobile from where you are applying now scroll down and fill in all the personal details friends please fill all the details properly make sure nothing is missed out or nothing is wrong because this is going to help you all the way to get an internship program registered so uh, your student id will be already picked up from the application you have done now you pick your category from where, wherever you are falling into general or on anything else and you can give some about yourself uh, 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 some uh, details and if you scroll down you can see from class 10th onwards you have to fill all the details 10th details is here and now your diploma 12th details are here graduation details is here so in under graduation details if you see you have options of uh, okay first you have to select the course you can see here all the things come up diploma post diploma btech mtech 
B A B A. Everything comes up. Select it accordingly, and under the stream, you select what is your stream engineering or aeronautics, whatever you select it. Now, if your co course is already completed, uh, selected yes, you should have at least professional certificate. Otherwise, you select as no. Then date of graduation, date of result announcement, everything you have select properly because you have told the course is completed. And percentage you score also. So if you are if you are um, written the exam waiting for, you can select no. Now uh, you can select your location like uh, preference, like where you are looking for an internship. Maybe your hometown or somewhere else, some cities, metropolitans. Please uh, specify your uh, first option, second option, third option, for fourth option. All the things are done. Upload government ID proof uh, like passport, PAN card, other whatever you are having with a photo ID will do the thing. Uh, just uh, click on the attach and uh, this thing. So personal details we have just seen now. There are other tabs you have to fill in training and placement, officer details, skill and language, reference letter, upload documents, area of interest. Lot of things are there. Friends, please click one by one. Fill everything. Don't miss anything. So, for example, if I click on skill and language certifications, you can see here. You can add your certifications and skill you possess. You got some development experience or a certification saying that you have completed this course. Friends, please add it here. Now, reference letter. If, if you have some reference letter by your HOD of uh, your organization, just add it here like an appreciation letter or reference saying that please admit him for the so and so internship program. Please attach it here. Now upload documents. If you see, you can upload your resume, covering letter, and uh, your marks, consolidated marks sheet. I would suggest you you upload each and everything uh, uh, shown in red mark. You can see here because if your application is complete, you are getting the preference. So do not hide anything. Do not uh, do not bluff anything. Just properly you fill all the details and click on the save button at the last of each option. So when you fill all these details, that is clear that your application is completed. There is another option you can see on the left side. There is three line icon here. If you click there, you can see a lot of other options in this website where you can uh, private internship, government internship. Uh, you can manage your application. I just clicked on application management. I have not applied on anything. That's why it is not showing anything. If I had applied for government internship on applied on which date it would have shown here I mean, I would have applied for a private internship it would have shown here now there is a dashboard here it's very nice to see the dashboard you can see all the things you have done like what are the internship you applied what are shortlisted did you get any interview call selected completed see this is a good dashboard where you can see all your activities application rejections and all the things so this is how uh, it looks like and I have already shown you once the registration is completed you can come back to home page find an internship just give your te technology here like PHP Java whatever you feel and click on search it comes out here and you can go and pick now one more thing I, I would show you is there is an option internship in popular cities so you don't need to search directly you can scroll down in this website and you can see all the uh, for example Andhra Pradesh as um, all the states internship at the uh, state level district level uh, things are available i'm not i'm not scrolling one by one it takes a lot of time if you scroll down at the end you can see anywhere you can click here yeah it is launched by our uh, on, honorable prime minister thank you for this and uh, you can see here all the key uh, uh, announcement also that you can subscribe to this there is an option if you give your in, uh, email address and click on subscribe you get all the newsletters from this and it was a very good uh, achievement very good program from government for supporting all of us mainly students and uh, employers thank you very much for watching if you like the video give us a like also please subscribe to our channel thank you